Hi, I'm Daniela Graham here at the Blank Park Zoo to tell you what's new at the zoo. And to help me out today, I have Samantha Dunn here. She's a recent Drake graduate and one of the animal presenters here at the Blank Park Zoo. And Sam, who do you have here today with you? Today I have Meg. She is a domesticated ferret. Um, we have got her from the Animal Rescue League. She's about five years old and she came from the Rescue League with her friend Hercules. Well, that's great. Uh, you use her in education programs then? Yep, you won't be able to see her at the zoo. Um, she and the other ferrets go to special programs at libraries, schools, care centers, and assisted living facilities to teach people about ferrets and other animals. That's wonderful. What, are the, what, what do you teach about ferrets? They make really good pets. Um, they're domesticated, so a lot of people use them as pets, and that's why we get them from the Rescue League. But it's also cool to tell people about the black-footed ferret that lives in the wild. They live in the western United States, and they're actually on the endangered species list. Well, that's great. Now, she has a very long body, and it looks like she has some interesting adaptations to go down into those deep holes to find prairie dogs if needed. What are, what are some of those adaptations that she has? Well, she does. She has this really long body, which you said, and that helps her get down in those prairie dog holes and um, hunt them out. She has about twice as many vertebrae in her back as we do, so as you can see, she's pretty bendy. And that helps her if she needs to turn around in that tunnel and get out. And then she also, which is a little different than your pets at home, her fur grows straight up in the air, so you can pet her either way. And that's so if she needs to back out of a tunnel really quick, it won't irritate her fur. Well, that's a lot of interesting information about the domesticated ferret. Thank you so much. Well, I'm Daniela Graham here with Samantha Dunn, and that's what's new at the zoo.